Um, so Goldilocks and the Three Bears is an interesting story. And Goldilocks may have been a really good kid in a lot of ways, but Goldilocks wasn't a really good guest, it turns out. <laughs> Because here's the story of a little girl, and she, she goes up to a house and finds that the door is unlocked, so she just goes right in, which, which is kind of trespassing <laughs> um, in some ways. And, and she's hungry, so she just goes and finds that there's food on the table, and she just helps herself to the food that's in someone else's house. And that's kind of like stealing when you're taking something <laughs> without permission. And then she goes, and she's tired, so she, she goes and finds a chair in the living room and unfortunately breaks the chair when she sits on it, you know, which is damaging someone else's property. <laughs> and then she's tired, so she goes and she takes a nap in one of their beds, which is just kind of creepy. <laughs> and then when the, when the poor bear family comes home, she says, help, and just runs away. You know, so that's not really an experience of relationship building <laughs> between Goldilocks and the bears. So what would it look like if Goldilocks had been a good guest and if the bears had been good hosts? What do you think? The bears would come home and she'd be like cleaning their house. Yeah. <laughs> right. Everything would be spotlessly clean. She's like a clean clean. Yes. So... <laughs> Exactly. So let's imagine this. So say Goldilocks is wandering in the woods and she, lose, she gets lost. And so she's hungry. She's kind of tired. She sees a house in the distance. And she thinks, well, I might as well see if there's someone home who can help me. So she rings the doorbell. And when the door opens, it's a bear. <laughs> and she's like, oh my gosh, this is a bear. What do I do? But before she can run away, the bear opens its mouth and says, well, hello, little girl. What can I do for you? And so Goldilocks thinks about running, but then she thinks, well, you know, this seems like a nice enough bear. Maybe I'll just say what's, what's happening. She says, I'm lost in the woods, and I'm kind of hungry, and I'm kind of tired, and, and I wonder if you could help me. And the bear says, well, of course I can help you. Come in. We were just sitting down to lunch. And so the bear invites her in, and she sits down, and they have porridge together with the family. <laughs> no, this is, these are good bears. And then after, after they finish lunch, because Goldilocks is being a good guest, she says, oh, can I help you clean up? And the bear says, yes, that would be great. Why don't you grab these bowls and these dirty spoons and bring them over to the sink and we'll wash them. And, and once that's done, why don't you go have a seat in the, in the living room? And she goes and she sits down and she sits on a chair and unfortunately the chair breaks. And so does she run away? No. She says, oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry that I broke your chair. And the bear says, oh, don't worry about it. That chair has been broken for years. It was bound to happen at some point. It's not your fault at all. And Goldilocks says, okay, okay. Well, is there anything I can do to help fix it? And they say, no, no. We're, we're just going to burn that old thing. <laughs> and then Goldilocks yawns. And the bears say, oh, well, you're right. You said you were tired. Why don't you, do you want to take a nap before we take you back? And she says, yeah, that would be, that would be great. And so Goldilocks takes a little nap and wakes up and then she says, well, can I help you fix this bed? And she makes it really nicely and folds up the blanket. And then she's ready to go and the bears say, okay, well, let's, well, we know where the trail is that you got lost from, so we'll walk you back to the trail. And so they walk her back to the trail and Goldilocks is feeling just really good about herself and, and is very sad to see the bears go and they, they hug and, and exchange contact information <laughs> and say goodbye and Goldilocks goes home and when she gets home to her family, what does she do? She says, Mom, Dad, you know, this amazing thing happens. Uh, she brings her sisters in and her brothers and, and tells them a story. And then says, can we have the bears over for dinner? Because I would like to get to know them better. And I think we would all get along. And her parents say, yes, of course. And so now Goldilocks' family and the bear family are friends. And they stayed friends for many years after. Okay.